to god be the glory in jesus mighty name amen and amen i just want to bring this uh word onto each and every one of us um because something happened really recently and um it was something that i was hearing in the spirit and eventually it manifested so about last week i was just literally you know i was just there in the kitchen and i kept hearing the word hailstones that's the word i kept hearing and i'm like what is this about hailstones father help me to understand it so i was there kind of doing the dishes and eventually what happened i began to hear like like it was like pellets against the window it was like you know tap 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 on the window and i'm like what is this on the window and in that moment in time it was hail that was coming down and hitting the windows and i'm like wow you know i just heard that word not too long ago and now it is manifesting right here and then the bible tells us in the book of psalm yes and i believe verse 18 verse, you know psalm 18 verse 12 it says out of the brightness of his presence clouds advance with hailstones and bolts of lightning so you can see out of his brightness of his presence clouds advanced because there were clouds that gathered and eventually hailstones began to manifest yes so now we begin to understand from that scripture we go on to the bible in the book of exodus right and we understand the plague of hail now when the father began to help me to understand this it was about i believe it was helping me to understand that it was judgment that was coming upon the what upon the wicked because the father has been speaking again and again and because of this hail yes that is manifesting in this hour yes it is death that is manifesting in creation against the wicked do you see that in itself so it's it's to countries at the same time to leaders and people who have been walking in wickedness and have refused to give up that wickedness remember in the book of exodus the bible declares it says that what pharaoh let my people go and you can see that pharaoh refused to let the people go and for that reason in exodus chapter 9 verse 13 the bible says then the lord said to moses get up early in the morning confront pharaoh and say to him this is what the lord the god of Hebrews." Hebrews says, let my people go so that they may worship me. Or this time I will send the full force of my plagues against you and against your officials and your people. So you may know that there is no one like me in all the earth. Can you see that dimension? So the father about sending a plague and was a plague of hell. And for who? For Pharaoh and his people. So you can begin to see, this is why I talked about the government and their, and, and their assistants or whoever they have around them. It could be, you know, leaders who have continued to walk in this wickedness and their staff, basically, who is in agreement with them. Also, you know, that person who is coming against the family and refuse to let them go and their family too. <laughs> Do you see that in itself? So it's basically upon the person and the family. It's upon the person and the people they surrounded them with. So this is the father helping you to understand that this is about manifesting in creation because in verse 15 it says for by now i could have stretched out my hand and struck you and your people with the plague that would have wiped you off the earth so verse 15 is helping us to understand that the mercy the reason why the father has not allowed it in times past is because of his mercy he has been trying to get pharaoh and his people the person in household wickedness and their family to give up this act because you know why he was wanting them to repent of their ways it is not the will of the father to see the wicked perish no it is always his will to see them reconciled and eventually come back to him hence the reason why he kept them alive but sometimes some people don't want to be alive some people they don't want to repent i believe we have seen this in the book of revelation and chapter 3 the bible says i have given jezebel time to repent of her ways but she has refused to do so so you can see that even though the father gave the opportunity for Jezebel to repent yes she refused to do so so there are some people who have blatantly refused to give up their wickedness and they kept pursuing the sons of God but in verse 16 he says but i have raised you up for this very purpose so that i may show you my power that my name may be proclaimed in all the earth 
So you can see why the father allowed them to come after you for a minute. It's because he wanted to use them to display his glory. Yeah, how do we see the glory of God? By allowing sometimes the wicked to come against you and eventually the father granting victory so that with your own two eyes, you see how the wicked are punished. Isn't that what in Psalm 91 declares? Now you can see in verse 17, he said, you still set yourself against my people and will not let them go. Therefore, at this time tomorrow, yes, I will send the worst hailstorm that has ever fallen on Egypt from that day to what it was founded till now. Give an order to, to bring your livestock and everything you have in the field to a place of shelter because the hail will fall on every person and animal that has not been brought in and is still out in the field and they will die. Can you see what the judgment the father has placed on Pharaoh? He said they will. So this is the father basically helping you to understand that because of their unwillingness to repent of their act and not allowing my people to go. Because for some people, remember, the father has already set them free from the hands of Pharaoh. If I set you free from the hands of your what? That wicked uncle, that wicked neighbor, that wicked auntie, that wicked parent. Can you see that dimension? He has set you free from them but do you know what pharaoh did because of your advancement pharaoh got up again and decided to pursue you and to bring you back into captivity and for that reason it says give an order now to bring your livestock and everything you have in the field to a place of shelter because the hail will fall on every person an animal that has not been brought in is still out in the field they will die the bible says those officials of pharaoh who feared the word of the lord hurry so there are people who are going to listen to this and they will change and there are some people who are going to listen to this and they will not change whatsoever because when the hail this is what the father is saying there is hail that is coming upon the earth in this hour hail stones are going to be raining upon the earth in this hour and that hail stones many are going to go to sleep and the many that are going to go to sleep are the wicked basically that they're going to go to sleep in this hour Let's look at what Revelation and chapter 16, because the Bible says once has it spoken, twice have we heard. Now, three times in the Bible it is mentioned. Now we see also in Revelation chapter 16, verse 20, the Bible says every island fled away and the mountains could not be found. Verse 21, from the sky, huge hailstones, each weighing about a hundred pounds, fell on people and they cursed God on account of the plague of hell because the plague was so terrible do you see that the plague that is coming is going to be so terrible that people are going to what are going to go to sleep now look at the second part in joshua chapter 10 the bible says in from verse 9 after an all-night march from gilgal joshua took them by surprise the lord threw them into confusion before israel so joshua and the israelites defeated them completely at gibeon israel pursued them along the road going up to beth horon and cut them down all the way to azika and Makedar. as they fled before israel on the road down from beth horon to azika the lord hurled hail large hailstones down on them and more of them died from the hail than were killed by the sword of the israelites and that day the lord gave the amorites over to israel joshua said to the lord in the presence of israel sun stands still over gibeon and you moon over the valley of aijalon so this is where majority of you understand that when you begin to see the hail yes so can i repeat that again when you see yes when you see the hail that is beginning to fall, you have to understand that the Lord is bringing an end to wickedness. Yes, this is where you're going to see a lot of people go to sleep because of this in itself. So every time you see the dimension of what? The hail falling. It helps you to understand that God has given you victory over the wicked. Because the Bible says, as they fled before Israel. So this is where the Lord is bringing some things finally to an end. So when you begin to see the hail, whether it's in Australia, whether it's in the United States, or in the United Kingdom, or in Africa, wherever you see this hail falling, understand that the Father is bringing an end to wickedness, which means a lot of people are going to go to sleep, which means a lot of people are going to go to die. 
Yes. So the hell that the father is bringing in this hour is to bring an end to wickedness. Do you see? Because Pharaoh has refused to let the people go. Because the who, the, those in what? Those that ran away from the Israelites. Yes. And basically ran. Yes. The father is bringing it to a complete end. So whatever has come against you, the father is bringing it to a complete end. When you see the hell, yes, when you see the hell fall down, expect news. Yes. Now you have to understand the Bible tells us in the book of Proverbs, do not let your heart rejoice when you see your enemy fall. Don't let it rejoice. Yes, when you see your enemy fall. No, not at all. But you know, it's always the place of the Father to bless those who curse and pray for those who despitefully use. Because you can see in the book of Exodus, Pharaoh, right? Moses kept praying for Pharaoh because Pharaoh kept saying, pray for me. And there were some people the Father has asked you, don't pray for them anymore. Amen. And for that reason is why you begin to understand. Yes, the Father is saying, I'm bringing an end completely to this wickedness. So expect in this hour, you're going to begin to hear it on the news. Hells, hells are falling, hells falling, hells falling. And the reason for that hell is because the Lord is bringing judgment on the wicked concerning their activities. So it's not just them, it's them and their family. The Bible tells us in the book of Exodus, it was not just the Pharaoh, but Pharaoh and his family and his people. People. Do you see that? So that is the dimension the Father is bringing in this hour. In Jesus' mighty name, amen and amen. So I just released that unto creation. God bless each and every one of you. So just continue to pray as the Father is leading you to pray. Like I said, the Father doesn't desire anyone to perish, but come into the knowledge of who he is. In Jesus' mighty name, God bless you. Have a wonderful and a gracious day. And I bless you all with the mercy of God. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Love you all.